One of the best supplements, if not the best, might be even better than we originally believed. If you're interested in learning that a fitness supplement you might already be taking can actually improve not only your muscle gains, but also your brain gains, then stick around, because in this video, we're going to look into a new study diving into creatine supplementation and how it can improve your memory. Hi, I'm PictureFit. I make health and fitness content just like this one to help you with your goals and gains. Creatine is undoubtedly one of the most popular fitness supplements and for good reason. It's relatively inexpensive and accessible, it's one of the most extensively researched supplements ever, and it can totally speed up your hair loss. Eh, maybe the last one isn't that good, and it's a bit more complicated than that. Got a video in the description about creatine and hair loss if you want to check that out a bit more. Creatine is also linked to a whole array of health benefits, including improving cholesterol, depression, bone health, rehabilitation, and cognitive function. Of course, there's the performance benefits we all know and love. But as extensive as it may be, this new study is the first of its kind to directly examine the current literature specifically covering creatine's influence on memory performance in healthy individuals. After screening nearly 10,000 studies, the researchers narrowed their analysis down to 10 eligible randomized control trials. These trials covered a wide age range between 11 to 85 years old, a wide dose range between 2.2 to 20 grams of creatine per day, and a wide study duration between 1 to 24 weeks in length. The studies assessed memory scores through composites, recall-based, short- and long-term screening surveys. Overall, a lot of good bases covered here, so let's see what we get out of this in the results. First, a few small things. The results of the research did not differ between different dose sizes, trial duration, and the sex of the subjects, and if there were positive outcomes, it was typically in subjects given creatine monohydrate in powder form, but not in capsules. Now for the primary analysis, the researchers concluded that when compared to a placebo, creatine supplementation did indeed improve overall memory performance. However, the researchers theorized that efficacy is dependent on brain creatine saturation. Much like when creatine levels are low in muscle, creatine supplementation might have a greater effect when creatine levels are already low in the brain. And creatine levels in the brain tends to be lower as you get older. With this in mind, let's take a look at this graph in the study to get a clearer understanding. Each horizontal line represents a memory assessment outcome, here specifically outcomes in older adults. The horizontal lines along with the bottom diamond representing the overall average plots primarily to the right side of the center vertical line, indicating that outcomes generally favor creatine supplementation. In this second group, however, the horizontal lines as well as the average now essentially run right down the middle. As you might have guessed, these are outcomes on young adults and children, and the graph is quite clear in showing that creatine supplements do not seem to influence their memory performance. Thus, the time we see a significant memory benefit is indeed with older adults, specifically between ages 66 to 76. It's so significant, in fact, that it skewed the overall outcome to make it appear to be effective for all ages. Unfortunately, younger folks didn't get much here. I'm sure you young adults are probably a bit bummed out about the findings, and truthfully, the results do seem pretty clear. However, in the off chance that it does help, especially if the theory of lower brain creatine levels playing a role is true, then that's just one extra bonus to the already long list of scientifically supported benefits we know about the, in my opinion, best supplements out there. For you older folks, first, thanks for getting your health information from a guy that doodles and talk funny. And second, it seems like yet another check off the list of reasons to take creatine. Of course, first check with your doc to make sure nothing's amiss. For everyone, we'll sit back and see what future research holds for us. With any luck, studies will look more extensively into the brain creatine levels theory to see if low creatine levels in younger populations might produce more memorable results. I hope this video enlightens you either way, and again, if you're worried that your head might end up looking like my head, check out that hair loss creatine video in the description. Other than that, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a memorable thumbs up and share it with your creatine loving friends. Subscribe for more. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to get your protein, which also can make creatine.